Hello, hello, Ederson Oliveira here. This is the Dean and Tip of the Week, and today we'll be talking about annoying font sizes. First of all, I want to give a big thanks to Rob Lloyd. He was the one that inspired me to do this video and sent me a question on our forum. So I said, you know what, this is a great topic to do a quick video about it. So what I'm talking about is when you go into the CK editor of DNN, and you have a look at the different font sizes that are available for you to format the, the content, and you realize that the options, they don't make too much sense. It shows you know, 12 pixels and then 130% and then small and then extra small. They don't make sense. They, they seem to have been thrown there just as sample of what can be placed there, but it's not clear where you can go to change them. So, I'll be showing how to do that. However, I don't really advocate that much for people to go messing around with font sizes of their content on their website because ideally, font sizes, they should come from the theme, from the skin itself, from the, yeah, from the theme of the site, from the theme of the page. But I know there are cases that we may want to increase font size in the options that are there are not that great. So this video will be talking about that. Before I tell you about the Dean and Tip of the Week, I want to bring to your attention our sponsor, Manage.com. Why do I have them as a sponsor? Because I use them, because I trust them, because I have been running my business on their host environment for over seven years now. I trust them, I have used other providers, but at the end of the day, I go back to them because of their support level and their technical abilities as well. Let me tell you, no other support, no other hosting provider out there will call you on the phone to give you the status update of your ticket. Nobody will do that. And I get that from manage.com. That's what differentiates them. It's not only the technical side, which they are very good as well, the best one in the DNA space and beyond that, but they are also very good when it comes to support, when it comes to the personal touch. So my, my recommendation to you is host with them. You will not get disappointed. They have good rates and great, great, awesome support. That's it. Let's go back to our tip of the week. Okay, so first of all, let me show you what I'm referring to in terms of fonts. So I'm here with a DNN 911 website. I'm gonna, I have logged in already as super user. I'm gonna go in edit mode and I'm gonna double click there again to stay in edit mode. So I'm gonna go to the editor here. So this is what I'm refer referring to. You see the size drop down. They don't make much sense, you know, 12 pixels and then 2.3 EM and then 130%. I mean, this is not useful. This is not usable. So how can we better control the options that show up here? Even though I would tend to think that we should not do heavily formatting inside uh, the editor because usually we strive to have the styling of the website being the one driving font size in general. But I know it happens that we may change, we may need to change the font size. So how can we control this better? Well, it's not that hard. Let's just click here under custom editor options. Let's go there and we're gonna open up a second, most likely a pop-up window that has the CK editor configuration settings. And from here, we can go to the editor config. And on this tab, we can look for, we can search for a term called font size underscore sizes. And that's where it will show us a list of options separated by semi semicolon. And we can modify this. We can, let's say if I want to stick with pixels, I can get rid of the other part of it. And I can say, you know, 13 pixels, semicolon, and then I can keep going here. I can keep going with as many options as I want. And I'll give it some space from here. And then I'll go all the way up to, let's say 20, and then now 24. Once I save this, I'm gonna close. And now, of course it doesn't show right away, but I just have to refresh the page. 
after refresh now we go back there to the editor and if we go to the sizes now you see the proper sizing that we were expecting and now it's in a much better you know organized way and you can change this you can you can use other you know you can use percentages you can use pixels you can use em it's really up to you now there are lots of options here in the custom editor options you can explore this again lots and lots and lots of options even that you can modify this configuration for the entire site just for the page or just for the module to be honest i have not tried these two options but they are here and that's what they are supposed to be you can change those options based on pages and even based on modules as well now here is what i'd like to finalize by showing you this configuration if by any chance you really like the configuration that you put together maybe you change other things here you know, maybe you don't want to be doing that for each and every dnn website that you have out there what you can do is you can copy this configuration you can save it and you can reuse whenever you are using the ck editor on another dnn website and to back this up and to reuse you just have to go straight to the file system of the website so i'm gonna open in my case i'm running this from my local system i'm gonna open windows explorer and here's the root of the website, DNN 911. And I'm going to go to the portals folder, into the zero folder, which is the portal ID of the default DNN website. So I'm going to open that folder. And here we can see three XML files that are related to the CK editor. So this is where the CK editor stores the configurations that we may have done for it on our DNN website. Now, very easily, we can just copy those three files and we can reuse and we can paste on any DNN site that we have within the same folder or if you have other portals as well. You can have a set of files like that for each and every portal of your DNN website in other DNN websites and you can reuse that. So this is pretty much it. This is a quick way on how you can better manage the size options of the CK editor on DNN. That's it. Thanks for now. Bye. If you like this DNN tip of the week and don't want to miss out anyone, subscribe.